Hi, I am Andy Woolworth with Victor. Today I'm discussing the different types of rodent traps and how to use them effectively. Snap traps are one of the oldest, most reliable devices for controlling rodents. These traps use a kill bar to swiftly contact the rodent's neck in one powerful stroke. Although traditional mouse traps are very effective at killing mice, they do not enclose parasites and bodily fluids. Some mouse traps have the ability to trap in dead mice, parasites, fluids, and odors, protecting your home and family. Electronic rodent traps are available in both rat and mouse versions. These traps produce death via electrocution, which is delivered through a high voltage shock. Electronic traps are easy to use, economical, and provide a quick, humane kill. Multiple catch mouse traps are capable of automatically capturing one mouse after another. Depending on the model, some mouse traps can hold up to 30 mice. Multiple catch traps do not have any kill mechanism and can be used for catch and release rodent control. Glue traps are commonly used to control mice and juvenile rodents. Glue traps are very easy to use, handle, monitor, and dispose of. They are also an inexpensive tool in your effort to control rodents. Additionally, they can catch insects, spiders, snakes, scorpions, and other small pests. The most important rule for the effective use of traps is good trap placement near high activity rodent areas. Spacing traps evenly every 10 feet may appear to be thorough coverage and protection. Such placements, however, make little sense if the majority of mouse activity is actually located in only one small corner of the room. The most common trapping mistake is using too few traps. For only a few mice, a dozen traps are not too many. For severe mouse infestations, traps should be placed close together in double sets in areas of high activity. About one inch of space should separate the two traps. These double sets help capture those rodents that attempt to jump over traps. When many rodents are involved, different types of baits should be used. Individuals in a rodent population forage for different types of food. Therefore, it pays to divide the traps up and bait some percentage with meats, such as bacon bits, some with peanut butter smudges, and some with nesting materials like dental floss. Bait that matches what the rodents are currently feeding on should also be used. Check traps regularly and continue to trap until signs of rodent activity dissipate. For personal hygiene and biohazard awareness, wear disposable gloves when installing or recovering any traps. Although some traps are reusable, we recommend for sanitary purposes the use of new traps after a kill occurs. Now you are familiar with the different types of traps and how to effectively put them to use.